What is up, boys? We are back here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. This time we're doing Ghost from the Past, the second haunting. This set was released, I think, in 2023. It's actually kind of hard. Yeah, 2023. That's, that's, that sounds about right. Because in 2024, at least so far, because we are still in 2024, there hasn't been a a third version of this, which I'm kind of hoping for a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. Konami just likes to kill products before they mature into something great. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up. I don't expect this video to be too long because, uh, I mean, most of the cards, the ultra rares, uh, they're decent. There's some decent reprints in here. But for the most part, like, we know what we're trying to do here, right? We're trying to get a Ghost Rare. And uh, I actually wasn't as lucky as some of you guys with this product in particular. I bought a whole case, man, and I got zero. Zero. That's right. You heard it right. Zero Ghost Rares. So let's see if we can do something nice with this little mini box here. Uh, all right. So also, if you guys don't remember, a lot of people were opening up cases and getting, like, seven seven ghost rares like that is insane freaking luck and i wish i could have gotten a little you know at least a little bit of that luck but it is it is what it is i actually did uh, wind up getting a, a couple ghost rares i think it was, i think both of them were uh daddy they were both dark arm dragon so yeah uh, i got i got a ghost rare eventually but i'm still kind of salty about it anyways yeah let's go ahead and open these up i've done enough talking and see what we can do okay okay yeah i knew there was a way to get these out of here all right so it is four packs per mini box and i think five cards per pack and they're all foil all ultra rares i believe so we got an infernity pawn it seems like there's some kind of warping here as well with these foils which is unfortunate vision hero uh poisoner vision hero forest there we go not bad. Despian Tragedy. And then a Vampire Duke. All right. The, a lot of these, um, I want to say a lot of them, but a, a decent amount of cards were that are in this set were reprinted somewhat recently, which kind of hurts the value, unfortunately. Yang Zing Brutality. Necro World Banishy. Uh, the Ancient of Wisdom Mercury. And then a Trace Back. Little uh, Cybers Falcon looking dude. Nice. All right. Let's see what this uh, third pack here is. Uh, Zing Brutality. One more time. Dark Contract with the Gate. Triple D's Vice King Requiem. A giant snake looking motherfucker. I ain't going to read that name. It's a long ass name. Uh, Adhira. Oh, Tenyi. That, that's right. The. This set had a, had a lot of really good Tenny reprints and also um, foil upgrades to to Tenny's, which is kind of cool. Cupid Pitch, Box of Friends. We got a Vision Hero Increase, a Heavy Metal Avion, and a Zombie World. Hell yeah. Nice. Another uh, little Vision Hero tease there. I, I wish we had more Vision Heroes, man, but what are you going to do? Right now, they, they are very reliant um, I don't want to say reliant, but they're, they're just an engine in, in the rest of the hero world, which kind of sucks. I, I wish they were more viable on their own, but yeah. So nine pillars of the Ying Zing uh, sandwich. We got Protector of the Ancient's Moon, Tenu Spirit Mu Mupara, and a rare fish. All right, I actually kind of forgot what spot these ghost rares come in, which is, um, I'm pretty sure it's the third. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the first slot. I think it's in the middle, but I could be wrong. Uh, Drama Torch of Despia, Ghost Trick Mary, Insector Hornet, and the Ancient of Mystery Earth. Oh, okay. Wasn't that a, a an inclusion from an OCG structure deck? I, th I feel like people were complaining about that. Uh, Vision Hero Poisoner. We, we got Reptiaf Egg, Ghost Trick, Dual Dulahan. That's a weird one. Vampire Sucker. Holy, that's very suggestive. Very suggestive indeed. All right, we got a Ghost Trick Stein. We got a Tenny Spirit. We got a Mystical Sand. Okay. That was actually another cool thing in, in the set. They. They were reprinting and upgrading to foils a lot of the OG normal 
fusion monsters like uh, Sandwich, this chick. Uh, there was another card in here. It's one of my favorites, actually. Hopefully we can pull it. But, uh, you know, another actually W in the set, in my opinion. Uh, we got Hope Harbinger, Chaos Graffer. That is actually kind of cool. That is, uh, so it, back in the day, right, there was a, a dark theme that was introduced in Phantom Darkness. And there was a dark Graffer. That's just a little callback there, because Chaos is light and dark. Uh, Chimera Tech, Rampage, Dragon. That is uh, actually a pretty decent reprint. And Pulm, Protector of the Agents, Moon, Dugaris. Ooh, got reprinted recently, unfortunately, which killed value quite a bit. Quite a bit. Like, it was actually kind of a decently expensive card in this set, but then it was reprinted a lot because of the rarity collection. Plunger Control, Patrol Ship, Mork. Dark Alligator, we got a Dustpot 001, and a Cologne. Oh, okay, that's that's weird. Does, wait, is that an archetype? No, I thought it was a Cybers for a second, but it's a Fairy. Cool, a lot of Fairies in this uh, in this set, I guess. Vision Hero, Gra Gravito, Retaliating Sea, Reptilia Egg, the Flute of Summoning Karibos, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, reprints, I think it was kind of being bought out around this time if i remember correctly people were buying it from the legendary collection gx edition and for like 20 bucks man like a, an ultra rare was going for like 20 plus bucks and then it got reprinted in here and people were were disappointed i guess i mean what are you, what are you gonna do right reprints always will kill value it is what it is and if konami sees something that they can capitalize on they are going to pounce I just don't remember too, like what why were people buying it besides nostalgia? I don't think Karibos were doing anything, but uh alright. Uh, Fossil Machine, Necroworld, Banshee, Code, Radiator, Reptilian, Lamaya, Lamia. Alright, come on, give me a ghost rare. Uh Ghost Trick Stein, Tenny Spirit. Yeah, there we go. Neo's Klug or Klugs, man. That is such a cool card man it's a com combination of you bell and neos oh man i still got to do a you bell deck with neos it's it's hard it really is hard but i do feel like if i find the right combination it will be a very satisfying deck but also you bell doesn't really need more win conditions and that's what kluger's provides right it's it's more of a it's a win more card in a neat in a, in a you bell deck which kind of sucks. They it doesn't need more win conditions. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably not going to work out as, as as I wanted it to. But it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, la last mini box here. Let's see. I mean, I, I prefer honestly um, a Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare, but uh, we shall see. Mystical Sand Shadow Vampire Ying Yang Zing. What what is up with these Yang Zings, man? They're, are they worms? Yeah. What is up with those weird ass dragons? Samsara Dragon, Triple D's, Plunger Patrol, Brain or Brawn or something like that. The chorus in the sky. Two more packs, both Cyber Dragons. Come on, man. I need some luck. Double D's, a Swirl, Slime, Wandering King, the Agents, the Agents of Life, Neptune. The agent of entropy, Uranus or Uranus. Oh man! All right, I'm gonna get flagged. Can you say anus on on, on YouTube? I don't even know. Tenu spirits, vampire kingdom, and oh, vision hero increase. Tenu spirit, the shooter, not bad actually. I mean, as far as ultra bears go, pull, pulls go. That one isn't bad, but I mean, the 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 bad luck in this set continues, guys. As expected, I was not expecting to to pull anything crazy here, and uh, yeah, no no surprise here. I didn't pull anything crazy, and it is what it is. I mean, uh, I don't know if the pull rates w are, are were better on release. Like maybe maybe that is the case, but uh, I mean, it's still fun to open these sets or this set in particular because it's incredibly cheap, incredibly cheap, and it's a good time. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one. A big thank you to the one and only channel member, Eric. I hope I keep pulling acceptable waifus that we can bond over, man.